fell into this business by accident. Um, I was working for a, a different family business that we had as a family owned, and we went to get shirts for that business. And the owner of uh, Action Enterprise was the name. He asked us if we know anyone who wants to buy the business. If he wants to sell, he wants to get out of it. So at the time we figured, why not? <laughs> and just fell into this business by accident. And um, yeah, it's been a learning process ever since 2016 to now. We were under the L in uh, Frankfurt, Kensington. A little small kind of row home in the first floor of the row home, what would be, I guess, the basement. Uh, the shop was no bigger than the showroom here. Dilapidated and just everything was caving in on us. It was terrible. We, we, we literally had a natural waterfall because we had a massive hole in the roof. That came from the third to the second to the first floor. So, yeah, and then we were there for two years and I mean, immediately we were looking for a new location right away and um, stumbled upon this gem just down the street. So we kept all of our clientele from over there and just started building up more here. So we actually own the entire building. Uh, it's 30,000 square feet. And we're only operating about, I want to say, 11 to 14,000. Um, this area actually I had nothing to do with. My cousin came in. She said, I'm going to design this for you and started putting all these panels up, getting everything painted. So this had nothing to do. I have to say, and I will admit, she did a very good job. I'm very happy with the way it came out, with the chandelier, with everything. So that would be more, me, I'm more in there. <laughs> and um, we broke it up into departments, essentially, you know, on the floors as best as we can. I like a spacious area. I went to a lot of different shops and I visited. Everything's on top of each other, just cluttered and compact and compressed. And I don't know, I have, uh, I'm claustrophobic. I need space. I need to be able to breathe. So in the meantime, we're trying to, you know, keep it as spacious as possible in here in the layout. It's, it was nice to see it grow um, and, and start, you know, coming together. I think our most massive growth was actually, believe it or not, when we got Deco Network. Um, it just helped manage everything in the shop and organize everything into which department every order has to go to. And it really helped us with keeping track. And then at that point, with that management software, it let us focus on other aspects of, of getting clients in here and then customers. We were writing on paper by hand and we had stacks and stacks and stacks of papers. So it was time to get rid of that and then transition over. And plus it's just, you know, repeat customers, it gets easier with Deco Network. You have all their artwork saved, you have everything saved, it, all the parameters, it knows everything. What shirts you used last time, um, you know, it, it, it'll give you everything set up right away for you just to make another proposal real quick and send down, as opposed to me having to dig through the papers of stacks of papers, find that customer. Oh, I wrote 12 inches here, and then I have to go find his films if I don't have those, and it's a whole headache. That was actually cut out completely thanks to uh, Deco. DTG and embroidery have been on top. Uh, DTG only because we do online stores through Deco. And, um, you know, on-demand printing is just easier through DTG than screen printing, obviously. Um, so that's been growing. And then embroidery, I mean, people just love our work. We have the top of the line touching machines and, I mean, our work speaks for itself. We're not Stitch Kings for no reason. <laughs> you know, we had um, Wallow recently come in. Uh, did work with us. Uh, he still does work with us. Huge influencer. When he shouts us out, you know, boom, we get more business. Uh, when Ed Bassmaster would come in and do stuff, boom, you know, shouts us out, we get more business. So it's kind of just generated traction on its own, and we kind of just fell into that. You know, look for influencers, bring them in, and that's that's kind of been our, our niche so far. A lot of it too is just people coming off the street. They saw our sign outside, which. I kind of like, but I don't like because it doesn't tell exactly what we do, but I like that at the same time because people are curious. They see Stitch Kings, they want to know what it is, they come in. And when they see all this custom apparel hanging around everywhere, all the custom work, they get blown away and we suck them right in with that. A showroom, I think, is, is a necessity for a custom apparel business. When customers come in, they want to see, they want to feel, they want to, you know, touch things and, 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 and experience it like that, not just visually see it online. And when they see the quality of the work, at that point, they already know and they're not going anywhere else. It sells itself. It's still nerve wracking because it's like we, we're growing and then we need more equipment, so we get more equipment. It's like, when is that gonna, you know, catch up where we don't need any more equipment and we can just keep growing. So, but it's been a good, it's been a good process so far and a good, good ride. <laughs>